let me show you how easy it is to make homemade Uncrustables and I'll tell you how much money you'll save doing it too. This really is so simple. You're gonna need a loaf of store-bought bread. I bake my own homemade bread, but it just doesn't work for Uncrustables. You need the squishy, cheap store-bought bread. You need peanut butter, jelly, and one of these handy little sandwich presses. Mine is from Pampered Chef, but I will leave a link to a couple similar ones below in the description so you can check them out. You can now get them in all sorts of fun shapes and sizes, and those are fun too. This is just a basic circle. All right, let me show you how quick this is to make an Uncrustable. To make your Uncrustable, take about a tablespoon of peanut butter. You're gonna spread it right in the middle. Just make a little circle. I don't go all the way to the edges for my circle cutter. Go like that, and then you're gonna take your jelly. I have a homemade blackberry jam here, about a teaspoon's worth, and I just spread that around on top of the peanut butter. Then I'm gonna to top it with another piece of bread Take my sandwich cutter and again, center it. Push down a couple times. Mine's a little older, I probably need to buy a new one. Again, links to all of them below. And then you're just gonna peel off your crust. Don't forget to save this to make homemade croutons or breadcrumbs or whatever you want, but just peel it off and you have your homemade Uncrustable, just like that. You can see it's nice and tightly sealed and ready for your kids' lunches. It also freezes great, so there's that too. Now, let's talk about the price breakdown. Super simple, let's do the price comparison. At Walmart, you are currently spending $9.48 for a 10 pack of Uncrustables. That works out to 94 cents an Uncrustable. If you're in a hurry, yes, it's super convenient, but let's break it down to doing it at home. I can get a loaf of store-bought bread for $1.50 and I can get 12 sandwiches out of one loaf of bread, which works out to 13 cents a slice. One jar of peanut butter, if I'm being very generous, $2, I can get 28 tablespoons, so that works out to seven cents a serving for my peanut butter. And jelly, if I'm paying for the good jelly, just jelly, raspberry or blackberry with only sugar and pectin or canning it, we'll say $4 a jar, 75 servings at a teaspoon, which works out to five cents for jelly. Again, that's not counting any sales. Those are regular prices that I can get every day. What is that up to? 25 cents. I can make a homemade Uncrustable for my kids, make them very happy, and it only costs a quarter. Even better, you can make a whole loaf at a time, stick them in your freezer, and you're ready to go for lunch too. You're saving yourself time and your money. If you want to give making homemade Uncrustables a try, I will leave a link to some of my favorite cutters below that you can check out too. Let me know if you have any other tips or tricks when it comes to making Uncrustables too. If you want to learn more ways to save money on groceries and tips and tricks like this, go ahead and subscribe and join me here at Joyfully Thriving where I share all of those things. Thanks so much for joining me and have fun making your homemade Uncrustables.